say no. We We say no. We We say no. We We say no. We Genji Bailey's Balfour Binky, who ten years ago tried to bring in the best of contract, the skill of trade, and reduce electricians' wages by 35%, are trying to do it again by bringing in a new grade ESO, again to de skill of trade. Genji Bailey's a Balfour's! We say no! DSO! We say no! DSO! We say no! DSO! We say no! DSO! We had talked to them on Monday at EDF. EDF have taken this thing off the table, but NG Bailey's haven't, and this is why we're here today. We've got the five protests today, we've got Cardiff, Swansea as well, we've got Merseyside, we've got Manchester, we've got Glasgow, we've got the North East. What you're going to do, the North East rank and fail, to send a message to NG Bailey's that we're not going to accept the de-skilling of the electrical trade. The ESO grade is nonsense. The glorified labourers with a three week course, we're not having it. There's no way we're going to let them take 70% of our work lying down. It's not happening. We've done this before during Vesna, we'll do it again. We've turned up at NG Bailey's headquarters in Boldenia. We've heard from the receptionist that the new are coming and nobody's turned up. They've bottled it. There's going to be fireworks. Next week we've got our first group they've set it up in Hinky Point. We're going to be picking in Hinky Point every Wednesday from next week. So it is growing and we're moving them. Do you want to work in a building that was engineered and wired by unqualified people? Do you want to feel safe in your workplace? Do you want to go into a hospital for an operation that has been wired and built by unqualified, untrained people? Do you want to feel safe in your life? Well, support this campaign. We're not here getting paid. This has been done from the heart of the electricians that care about this industry. We care about the people who have yet to come into the industry. They're going to try this in a nuclear power plant? There's somebody having a laugh. This is lunacy. For what? For profit? You're going to risk thousands of lives? We say no! ESO! We say no! ESO! Balfour's, Bailey's, they've got history on this, you know, they're going to push through whatever they can. They've got this ESO maybe pushed off the table. I think the plan is now to bring in electrical labourers to assist us. The labourers are fetchers and carriers in my book, you know. What we need is apprentices, adult trainees at the best, you know what I mean, to, to learn this trade and pass it on the same as we've learned it, you know. And the battle against this, against all de-skilling in this industry, that's their ambition, that's what they're driving for. Save money. Save money, make profits for their shareholders at the cost of our pockets and our families, you know what I mean? Together we can beat these boys, you know. We need people on the ground with us, backing us up. It takes a lot of work, but we're getting there slowly. I just want to give my solidarity and uh, congratulations from the National Shop Stewards Network to the Shrewsbury Pickets and their families. In 1972, there was a national builder's strike because, again, it was about casualisation, it was about exploitation, it was about profits of the companies. They took strike action, they picketed building sites in Shrewsbury and then months and months later a number of the pickets were arrested in the middle of the night with charge with conspiracy, a law that hadn't been used for I think 100 years. It was totally fabricated and they were jailed. There should be an absolute inquiry, I think, headed by the trade unions into what was a conspiracy against those workers and those who passed away, people like Desi Warren, who's a hero of our movement. And the parallels, of course, with the new policing bill really shows what the establishment does to people who fight back. But when our movement acts together, we're bigger, better than them, and we can win victories. We say no! We are so!